All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back with another tool. Uh, we're gonna mess around with the EXIF tool today. And a lot of people will probably go in and say, wait a second, EXIF tool is not an OSINT tool. It's a digital forensics tool. And I would argue, yeah, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both, right? So uh, I feel like EXIF tool would be utilized to find different information uh, that we could easily scrape from a website. Now, with that said, I wanna, I wanna make some precursors out there, right? You can find the geotagging information off of pictures for stalking. You could do it for other things, and that is against the law. So I am not advocating for that. I am not advocating to do anything illegal. I'm advocating that this is a learning process that you need to be aware of. Uh, and more so that you need to be aware of there are still websites out there that still provide that metadata on those pictures on those specific websites, right? For our open source intelligence, we can use those pictures to identify where a person is. Uh, and that's where a lot of the time we, we kind of go into that digital forensics perspective. But in the OSINT tool perspective, we can find out where they're at as in uh, where their offices are at, maybe where they're living, maybe uh, some different information. So again, this is for learning purposes only. We are not utilizing this to break the law or to perform stalking or any malicious activity. We are learning about the capabilities. So up there, let me blow this up real quick. Now, active tool usually comes in with its domain. So I'm just gonna type in XF tool and then that help. And it says, hey, you don't have installed it. Do I wanna install it? Yes, I do. And there it goes, it's gonna install. It's pretty quick. When it, first thing we need to do is a CD downloads, just like that. Now I will tell you, it took me a little bit to find a picture that actually had some XF data in there. I'm gonna post a link to my Google Drive uh, in the description so that you can see exactly what I'm seeing on a picture that actually has that XF data. Uh, so you can download that picture if you want to practice on that. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is EXIF, and then I'm gonna do a dash dash help to show all the data right there. And here we go, we can grab all that juicy information off that picture. Uh, and it has our little basic manual on there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an LS, and the picture I'm going to do is literally called picture number two right there. So if I just do EXIF, and then picture two, we should be able to see some juicy information about this specific picture. Uh, now, some good information we know that was uh, taken by an Apple phone. It was taken by an iPhone XR, the orientation. We can see the different date and timestamp. This picture was taken in 2019. We can see exposure time. We can see all kinds of great information associated specifically with this photo. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, we can actually see the latitude and the longitude. And here it is right here. So we can see that XF data. We can even see that it was taken at sea level. The altitude was 1087. I mean, you could get a ton, a ton of information off of XF tool. Utilizing this tool to provide some of that metadata off of it would really kind of go a long way towards what you're trying to accomplish. If you can get pictures off of somebody's social engineering, a social media site, you can get uh, pictures maybe that they've posted, now, a lot of these social engineering, or excuse me, social media websites, they, they scrape this data, right? They don't allow it to go on there, right? So Facebook, I think Twitter does it as well, where they just don't allow that data to be passed along online, don't necessarily scrape that data. Now, that doesn't mean that the data is gonna be there, it just means there's a chance that that data is being transferred from the picture over to the actual website uh, as of the writing of this video uh, from the latest information. So be aware of that, right? Um, and so that's that's Excess Tool. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you learned something. Uh, if you liked it, please go ahead and like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thanks.